Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all doing well. This is reading the Old Testament in 150 days. We're on day 54. Today we'll be reading more of 1 Samuel and also Psalm 54. So 1 Samuel 7 is where we're picking off. And the men of Kirjatharim came and fetched up the ark of the Lord and brought it into the house of Abinadab in the hill and sanctified Eleazar his son to keep the ark of the Lord. And it came to pass, while the ark abode in Kirjatharim, that the time was long, for it was twenty years, and all the house of Israel lamented after the Lord. And Samuel spake unto all the house of Israel, saying, If ye do return unto the Lord with all your hearts, then put away the strange gods and Ashtaroth from among you, and prepare your hearts unto the Lord, and serve him only, and he will deliver you out of the hand of the Philistines. Then the children of Israel did put away Balaam and Ashtaroth, and served the Lord only. And Samuel said, Gather all Israel to Mizpah, and I will pray for you unto the Lord. And they gathered together to Mizpah, and drew water, and poured it out before the Lord, and fasted on that day, and said, We have sinned against the Lord, and Samuel judged the children of Israel in Mizpah. And when the Philistines heard that the children of Israel were gathered together to Mizpah, the lords of the Philistines went up against Israel. And when the children of Israel heard it, they were afraid of the Philistines. And the children of Israel said to Samuel, Cease not to cry unto the Lord our God for us, that he will save us out of the hand of the Philistines. And Samuel took a sucking lamb, and offered it for a burnt offering, holy unto the Lord. And Samuel cried unto the Lord for Israel, and the Lord heard him. And as Samuel was offering up the burnt offering, the Philistines drew near to battle against Israel. But the Lord thundered with a great thunder on that day upon the Philistines, and discomfited them, and they were smitten before Israel. And the men of Israel went out of Mizpah and pursued the Philistines and smote them until they came unto beth -car. Then Samuel took a stone and set it between Mizpah and Shen and called the name of it Ebenezer, saying, Hitherto hath the Lord helped us. So the Philistines were subdued, and they came no more into the coast of Israel, and the hand of the Lord was against the Philistines all the days of Samuel. And the cities which the Philistines had taken from Israel were restored to Israel, from Ekron even to Gath. And the coast thereof did Israel deliver out of the hands of the Philistines. And there was peace between Israel and the Amorites. And Samuel judged Israel all the days of his life. And he went from year to year and circuit to Bethel and Gogal, Mizpah, and judged Israel in all those places. And his return was to Ramah, and there was his house, and there he judged Israel, and there he built an altar unto the Lord. Verse Samuel 8. And it came to pass, when Samuel was old, that he made his sons judges of Israel. And the name of his firstborn was Joel, and the name of his second, Abia. They were judges in Beersheba. And his sons walked not in his ways, but turned aside after lucre, and took bribes and perverted judgment. Then all the elders of Israel gathered themselves together, and came to Samuel and to Ramah, and said unto him, Behold, thou art old, and thy sons walk not in thy ways. Now make us a king to judge us, like all the nations. But the thing displeased Samuel when they said, Give us a king to judge us. And Samuel prayed unto the Lord. And the Lord said unto Samuel, Hearken unto the voice of the people, and all that they say unto thee. For they have not rejected thee, but have rejected me, that I should not reign over them. According to all the works which they have done since the day that I brought them up out of Egypt, even unto this day, wherewith they have forsaken me, and served other gods, so they do also unto thee. Now therefore hearken unto the, their voice, howbeit yet protest solemnly unto them, and show them the manner of the king that shall reign over them. And Samuel told all the words of the Lord unto the people that asked him of him a king. And he said, This will be the manner of the king that shall reign over you. He will take your sons, and appoint them for himself, for his chariots, and to be his horsemen. And some shall run before his chariots. He will appoint him captains over thousands, and captains over fifties, and will set them to ear his ground, and to reap his harvest, and to make his instruments of war, and to his instruments of chariots. And he will take your daughters to be confectionaries, to be cooks, to be bakers. And he will take your fields and your vineyards and your oliveyards, even the best of them, and give them to his servants. 
and you'll take a tenth of your seed and of your vineyards and give to his officers and to his servants. And he will take your men servants and your maid servants and your goodliest young men and your asses and put them to his work. He will take a tenth of your sheep and ye shall be his servants. And ye shall cry out in that day because of your king which ye have chosen you. And the Lord will not hear you on that day. Nevertheless, the people refused to obey the voice of Samuel, and they said, Nay, but we will have a king over us, that we may also be like all the nations, that our king may judge us and go out before us and fight our battles. And Samuel heard all the words of the people, and he rehearsed them in the ears of the Lord. And the Lord said to Samuel, Hearken unto their voice, and make them a king. And Samuel said unto the men of Israel, Go ye every man unto his city. First Samuel 9 Now there was a man of Benjamin whose name was Kish, the son of Abiel, the son of Zeror, the son of Bekorath, the son of Aphia, a Benjaminite, a mighty man of power. And he had a son whose name was Saul, a choice young man and a goodly. And there was not among the children of Israel a goodlier person than he. From his shoulders and upward he was higher than any of the people. And the asses of Kish, Saul's father, were lost. And Kish said to Saul his son, Take now one of the servants with thee, and arise, and go seek the asses. And he passed through the mount of Frame, and passed through the land of Shalisha, but they found them not. And they passed through the land of Shalim, and there they were not. And he passed through the land of the Benjaminites, but they found them not. And when they were come to the land of Zup, Saul said to his servant that was with him, Come and let us return, lest my father leave caring for the asses, and take thought for us. And he said unto him, Behold now, there is a city in the city, a man of God, and he is an honorable man, and all that he hath, he saith, cometh surely to pass. Now let us go thither, peradventure he can show us our way that we should go. Then said Saul to his servant, But behold, if we go, what shall we bring the man? For the bread is spent in our vessels, and there is not a present to bring the man of God. What have we? And the servant answered Saul again, and said, Behold, I have here at hand the fourth part of a shekel of silver, that I will give to the man of God, to tell us our way. Before time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of God, thus he spake, Come and let us go to the seer, for that he is now called the prophet, was before time called the seer. Then said Saul to his servant, Well said, come let us go. So they went into the city where the man of God was. And as they went up the hill of the city, they found young maidens going out to draw water, and said unto them, Is the seer here? And they answered and said, he is, behold, he is before you. Make haste now, for he came today to the city, for there is a sacrifice of the people today in the high place. As soon as you be coming into the city, you shall straightly find him before he go up to the high place to eat, for the people will not eat until he come, because he doth bless the sacrifice, and afterwards they eat that be hidden be bidden. Now therefore get you up for about this time you shall find him. And they went up to the city, and when they were coming to the city, behold, Samuel came out against them for to go up to the high place. Now the Lord had told Samuel in his ear a day before Saul came, saying, Tomorrow, about this time, I will send thee a man out to the land of Benjamin, and thou shalt anoint him to be captain over my people Israel, that he may save my people out of the hand of the Philistines. For I have looked upon my people, because their cry is coming to me. And when Samuel saw Saul, the Lord said unto him, Behold the man whom I spake to to thee of. The same shall reign over my people. And Saul drew near to Samuel in the gate and said, Tell me, I pray thee, where the seer's house is. And Samuel answered Saul and said, I am the seer. Go up before me into the high place, for you shall eat with me today, and tomorrow I will let thee go, and I will tell thee all that is in thine heart. And as for thine asses that were lost three days ago, set not thy mind on them, for they are found. And on whom is all the desire of Israel? Is it not on thee and on thy father's house? And Saul answered and said, I am not a Benjaminite. Okay, sorry. Am not I a Benjaminite of the smallest of the tribes of Israel? And my family, the least of all families of the tribe of Benjamin? Wherefore then speakest thou so to me? And Samuel took Saul and his servant and brought them into the parlor, and they made them sit in the chiefest place among them that were bidden, which were about thirty persons. And Samuel said unto the cook, Bring the portion which I gave thee, of which I said unto thee, Set it by thee. And the cook took up the shoulder, 
of that which was upon it, and set it before Saul. And Samuel said, Behold that which is left, set it before thee, and eat. For unto this time hath it been kept for thee, since I said, I have invited the people. So Saul did eat with Samuel that day. And when they were come down from the high place into the city, Samuel communed with Saul upon the top of the house. And they arose early, and it came to pass about the spring of the day that Samuel called Saul to the top of the house, saying, Up them that I may send you away. And Saul rose, and they went out, both of them, he and Samuel, abroad. And as they were going down to the end of the city, Samuel said to Saul, Bid the servant pass on before us. And he passed on. But stand thou still a while, that I may show thee the word of God. 1 Samuel 10 Then Samuel took a vial of oil, and poured it upon his head, and, and kissed him, and said, Is it not because the Lord hath anointed thee to be captain over his inheritance? When thou art departed from me today, then thou shalt find two men by Rachel's sepulchre and the border of Benjamin at Zelek, Zelzad. And they will say unto thee, The asses which thou wentest to seek are found. And lo, thy father hath left the care of the asses, and sorrowed for you, saying, What shall I do for my son? Then shalt thou go on forward from thence, and thou shalt come to the plain of Tabor. And there shall meet thee. The three men going up to God to Bethel, one carrying three kids, and another carrying three loaves of bread, and another carrying a bottle of wine. And they will salute thee, and give thee two loaves of bread, which thou shalt receive of their hands. After that thou shalt come to the hill of God, where is the garrison of the Philistines, and it shall come to pass, when thou art come thither to the city, that thou shalt meet a company of prophets coming down from the high place which is salt with a psaltery and a tabret, and a pipe and a harp before them, and they shall prophesy. And the Spirit of the Lord will come upon thee, and thou shalt prophesy with them, and shall be turned into another man. And let it be when these signs are come unto thee, that thou do as occasion serve thee, for God is with thee. And thou shalt go down before me to Gilgal, and behold, I will come down unto thee, to offer burnt offerings, and to sacrifice sacrifices of peace offerings. Seven days shalt thou tarry, till I come unto thee, and show thee what thou shalt do. And it was so that when he had turned his back to go from Samuel, God gave him another heart, and all those signs came to pass that day. And when they came thither to the hill, behold, the company of prophets met him. And the Spirit of God came upon him, and he prophesied among them. And it came to pass, when... All that knew him before time saw him, that, behold, he prophesied among the prophets. Then the people said one to another, What is this that is come unto the son of Kish, his Saul also among the prophets? And one of the same place answered and said, But who is their father? Therefore it became a proverb, Is Saul also among the prophets? And when he had made an end of prophesying, he came to the high place. And Saul's uncle said unto him and to his servant, Whither went ye? And he said, To seek the asses, and... When we saw that they were nowhere, we came to Samuel. And Saul's uncle said, Tell me, I pray thee, what Samuel said unto thee. And Saul said unto his uncle, He told us plainly that the asses were found, but of the matter of the kingdom whereof Saul spake, he told them not. And Samuel called the people together unto the Lord to Mizpah, and he said unto the children of Israel, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, I brought up Israel out of Egypt, and delivered you out of the hand of the Egyptians, and out of the hand of all kingdoms, and of them that oppressed you. And ye have this day rejected your God, who himself saved you out of all your adversities and your tribulations. And ye have said, Nay, but set a king over us. Now therefore present yourselves before the Lord by your tribes and by your thousands. And when Samuel had caused all the tribes of Israel to come near, the tribe of Benjamin was taken. And when he had caused the tribe of Benjamin to come near by their families, the family of Matri was taken, and Saul the son of Kish was taken. And when they sought him, he could not be found. Therefore they inquired of the Lord further, if the man should yet come thither, and the Lord answered, Behold, he hath hid himself among the stuff. And they ran and fetched him thence, and he stood among the people. He was higher than any of the people from his shoulders upward. And Samuel said to all the people, See him whom the Lord hath chosen, that there is none like him among all the people. And all the people shouted and said, God save the king. Then Samuel told the people the manner of the kingdom, and wrote it in a book, and laid it up before the Lord. And Samuel sent all the people away, every man to his house. And Saul also went home to Gibeah, and there went with him a band of men whose hearts God had touched. But the children of Belial said, How shall this man save us? And they despised him, and brought him no presents, but he held his peace. Psalm 54 To the chief musician on Neganoth, Meshil, a psalm of David, when the Zephims came and said to Saul, 
Doth not David hide himself with us? Save me, O God, by thy name, and judge me by thy strength. Hear my prayer, O God. Give ear to the words of my mouth, for strangers are risen up against me, and oppressors seek after my soul. They have not set God before them. Selah. Behold, God is mine helper. The Lord is with them that uphold my soul. He shall reward evil unto mine enemies, cut them off in thy truth. I will freely sacrifice unto thee, I will praise thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For he hath delivered me out of all trouble, and mine eye hath seen his desire upon mine enemies. All right, well, that's going to be it for today's reading. So we're finally in the age of kings, Saul being the first king. So the time of judges is over, and uh, that was around 400 years is the time period of judges. And now we're going to start the time of kings, which is also around 400 years. So thanks so much for joining me. I hope you guys have a great morning afternoon evening wherever you're at remember to, to put god first in everything you do have faith in him trust in him wait upon him and he'll never be sorry god willing we'll see you tomorrow with more of this power reading planes thanks again take care and god bless